not sure this is how you hunt, just sprinting through the forest. How was that deer not spooked by all his running? <laughs> it's on the floor. Mm. That sounded like derp. Are you ready for tonight? Great. Why the hell is she wearing a rope? <laughs> License and registration, please. James Lindsay, huh? Jim. Turn around. Hmm. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> what the hell? How did this even happen? How did he get this close to a cop? Shouldn't he avoid cops? Should I let Mr. Steiner know you're en route? Sure, Esther. This is me en route. Is that actually a conscious choice that they picked? An actress that looks like Deb, at least with that long dark hair. Hey, Jimmy, morning. You come in line dance it tonight? Morning, Zach. Morning, Mr. Lindsay. Becca, Scott. Lindsay. Seems like Mr. Lindsay is a pillar of this community. <laughs> Everyone knows him. Hey, gig. You got my stuff. What was that? Why did they build tension there? Obviously he wasn't going to kill him. Gonna need a new knife and a big ass gun. Wow. Ha 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 funny. <laughs> anyway, um, how about that rifle? The Remington 783. Oh what do we just kill you right now? <laughs> Way more firepower than anything you need hunting around here. Oh yeah? What do you hunt? I don't anymore. I haven't killed any animals since I was a teenager. And when's the last time you killed a human being? Just gonna need some ID for the federal background check. You know, you break a rule, sometimes you might even have a little fun. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the guard up, dude! <laughs> Man, I can shit myself. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get our swerve on! What's that big jaw there? Is that candy in that jaw? Matt Caldwell's buying everyone around. Yo, it's Jim! 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 Put it on my tab anyway. Let's dance. Can't let Esther and Alan show us up. Dexter is actually asking to dance? What? If your background check clears, you can come and pick it up at the store in the morning. I'm sure your buds are gonna be really impressed with the size of your gun. <laughs> Why don't you come to the party anyway? You never know. Maybe you'll even enjoy yourself. Oh, he has already enjoyed himself. Haven't you seen his sick dance moves? Dude, are you kidding me? It got spooked by some person running through the woods far in the background. But Dexter's running didn't spook it. You're letting his map break get to you, brother. It's been almost 10 years. Stick to your routine. Routine, routine, routine. So he hasn't killed anyone in 10 years? Honestly, it doesn't quite feel like it's connected to the previous show at all. This 10 year jump, I think is just too much. They just didn't do enough to fill that gap. So watching this show right after the last, he's all of a sudden in this community, well established, has no trouble staying focused and not killing anyone. He's just the perfect life. He doesn't even have to hide really or anything. It's basically like the previous show didn't even exist. Don't you have a test today? What could's math that people like Edward Olsen destroy the planet? I know that <clears> someone <throat> isn't getting their tuna sandwich anytime soon. Thank you everyone for waiting so patiently. We brought you some uh, cocoa to warm you up. It's encouraging. She's going to throw it, dude. Get behind your bodyguards. Save the planet! Mm. Shame on you! 
<laughs> and the girl actually thinks she showed him now by not accepting the coffee. Like he gives a shit, whoever he even is. Who is that person? And why does that person always find dicks? Matt Caldwell's been cleared. He wants the gun dropped off at his dad's lodge. I'm not comfortable delivering the gun. Can't you do it? Brian and I are picking up Garfield. Yeah, I lost the name battle. Happy husband, happy life. A gay gun nut. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> Yo, it's me. Whoa, my bad. Uh, is that your girlfriend by any chance? <laughs> I brought her here, you know that? Of course she ends up with him. It's always the fucking same. Maybe because you're a loser. You know what they call me? Loser? Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I covered for him, man. I lied at my trial so, so that he could go free and, and, and bang my girlfriends. <laughs> hey. Uh, I didn't tell you any of this. This all stays between us. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the guy where secrets go to die. <laughs> oh God, Mr. Lindsay, please don't tell my dad. I won't, Becca. Who is your Did dad? You leave right now. Don't tell my dad. How old is that woman? She didn't look like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Jim? <laughs> Jim. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Are, are you Dexter Morgan? It's Who? me. Harrison. What? You can't. Everyone close to you dies. That's why we're here. Fuck off, Deb. I'd like to hear Harrison's story. How he got here. You look just like I remember. Just have one of those faces, I guess. Like, you remember? How old were you last time? Dukes. The Guerta. Uh, yeah, the first two were not really close to Dix, so what the fuck? The next bus out of town is uh, tomorrow night. It's 7.45. I hope you find whoever you're looking for. He's looking for you. If he even... It's real. What the fuck is this shit? After 10 years, Harrison just finds him? You did the right thing. He'll be safer with Hannah. He'll be safer with Hannah. Yeah, sure. Where is Hannah? <laughs> Last time they were in Argentina together. It's going to be a body. Oh, just stab. And... Someone. <laughs> Don't hurry, dude. My bet is that asshole is going to shoot your lovely white deer now. Once again, not spooked. Now he actually just walks up to it. Excuse me? Bang. Yes! Bag me a white fucking book! I almost tagged you, dude. No, you're dead, son. Jim. Where's Deb now? Shouldn't she maybe stop him? At least try to stop him? If I'm gonna do this, I need to do it right. First rule of the code. Don't get caught. Does he really... Still need all that? Trophies and the code? Tell me what you did! Or... <laughs> it's not my fault! Okay, my mom died when I was eight. My dad, he was never around. He was always working. I, 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 had, I had a sh shitty childhood, okay? <laughs> I had nothing. I had no compass. I, I was. <laughs> you know, I lost both my parents when I was young, too. I wouldn't have had any direction if it wasn't for Harry. 
who's Harry? Look at <laughs> Don't ask. Long story. Fuck you, man. Ouch. My dad, he is gonna destroy you! He knows everybody in this town. They love him. They would do anything for him. Little do you know that Mr. Lindsay also knows everyone in this town. Life is short, dude. <laughs> Hello, Dexter Morgan. Goodbye, Jim Lindsay. <laughs> I don't need trophies anymore. That's what I thought. I may be a monster, but I'm an evolving monster. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Where have you been all this time? Bit late to raise that question. What are you doing? I'm Dexter Morgan, your father. Come home. Come home? Where's his home right now? As long as that boy doesn't interact with anyone else, I just assume he's not real. Because so far it doesn't make any sense. Either he's not real, then it's extremely obvious, or he is real and it's complete bullshit. There's no way you can tell me that he found Dexter after 10 years, just like that. Especially since he has lived a life in those 10 years too. So what kind of life was that? that brought him to this point. It just doesn't add up at all. So I'm hoping that he isn't real. But in that case, they should reveal it soon. But even without all that Harrison stuff, it wasn't really the smoothest transition from the old show to this show. Hopefully it's all just part of the problem of having to start somewhere. Because when you ignore everything about the past, including Harrison, then this episode was alright. 